Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Mick Schumacher's had a seat fit with Mercedes, Zach Brown's made a new claim about Lando Norris, Stroll's spoken about the arrival of Fernando Alonso at Aston Martin, and Red Bull have made a new admission ahead of the 2023 season. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Mick Schumacher, who's now had a seat fit with Mercedes. As we know, Mick joined the team as a reserve driver after being dropped by Haas at the end of the 2022 season. And it seems Mick is starting to make himself comfortable at Mercedes, with Voto showing him looking happy as he's getting himself adjusted with the car. And on top of that, McLaren also announced that they'll be able to call Schumacher as a reserve driver during the 2023 season as part of their arrangement with Mercedes. So it looks like Schumacher could be in for a very busy season, despite not actually having a race seat. But I think this will all be very good experience for Mick, ahead of him looking to get back onto the F1 grid. But let's move on to McLaren, where CEO Zach Brown has said Lando Norris is as good as anyone on the F1 grid, and matches some of the sports greats such as Fernando Alonso. Now there's no doubting how good Norris is. I mean he dominated Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren, and he's also put in some very strong performances over the years. And speaking about Norris, Brown told ESPN, I think Fernando is as good as any F1 driver there's ever been, and Lando matches him. You see that natural talent. You do get some drivers who are a one-make discipline, and you throw them in a unique situation, and they don't get up to speed as quickly. Now I do believe with a quick car Norris would be able to compete for titles, but he is locked down with McLaren, and it is going to take some time for the team to get back to the front of the grid, given they're still working on upgrading their facilities. So chances are that Norris won't have a car capable of fighting for the title until 2025, perhaps 2024 if the team can make really good progress. But now let's move on to Aston Martin, where Lance Straws welcomed the push Alonso will bring to the team. Now Alonso has a reputation for being a very fierce competitor who isn't afraid to speak his mind. And I'm sure at Aston Martin he'll be pushing the team very hard, with the two-time world champion wanting to get back to winning ways. Now for me there's no doubt he'll get the best out of the car on the track, and Stroll believes Alonso's arrival at the squad will have a positive impact. He told Motorsport.com, It's no fun when you're just kind of driving around with no one pushing you. I think what you want in a teammate is a guy that's at the top of his game. It means that when you get more out of it than him, you're really at the top of your game, and vice versa. But let's move on to Red Bull, where team boss Christian Horner has admitted that the cost cap penalty handed to the team has already significantly limited their development ahead of the 2023 season. As we know the team were found to have breached the 2021 cost cap limit, and as a result were handed a 10% reduction in wind tunnel testing, and Horner says the team are having to be more disciplined when doing testing with the wind tunnel or simulator. He was quoted by Racer as saying, We're probably 25% almost of the way through that penalty, and of course it has an effect. It's limiting significantly the amount of runs that we do in our wind tunnel over each quarter, and I think that the team are having to adapt to that. Now even though Red Bull do have this penalty, I do feel the team will still be strong in 2023. After all, they do have Adrian Newey, and look what he achieved with the RB18, so I'm sure he'll be able to extract performance out of the RB19 despite the penalty. And Horner did admit that while the penalty will be a challenge, he's confident in what Red Bull can still achieve. He said, It's a handicap for sure, but we've got very capable people that are looking to obviously extract the best that we possibly can, and apply ourselves in the most efficient and effective way. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.